Hey guys, Pastor Tanner here, coming at you with another Logos video. I have always said that Logos Bible Software is the best Bible software on the planet, but it has a very steep learning curve. My wife was preparing a lesson for our women's retreat that we had here recently, and she was asking me some questions about the original languages and some details surrounding the particular issue of contentment. Now, I was showing her the Bible word study tool. I was showing her how to use lexicons and all of these different things. And then I realized I was giving her a fish. I wasn't actually teaching her how to fish. So I decided to sit down and show her how to do many of these things for herself. Well, it became quickly clear to me that she was not going to know how to navigate to all of these different tools and these resources by herself without me showing her what to do. And then it dawned on me, I should show her how to utilize the smart search tool. You see, the smart search is a one-stop shop. It's exactly what she needed. And as I began to show her how to utilize the smart search tool, I quickly realized that this steep learning curve that Logos has had for so long is coming to an end. I'm serious. I do not think that Logos Bible software, as long as you include the smart search and the new smart synopsis, which I'll show you here shortly, any longer has a very steep learning curve. I think this software is incredibly easy to use now. The fact is most people don't realize just how powerful the smart search is and how the smart search synopsis can help you to leverage so many of your resources. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to use the smart search for maximum gains in your study of doctrine, theology, and God's word with no startup time, no additional training. You can open one tool and you can get all your study needs accomplished. Let me show you. So if you want to study in this manner that I'm talking about, all you need is this little magnifying glass. Once you have the magnifying glass open, it's called the search. Make sure that you're searching all of your books and make sure that you have smart search selected, not precise search. And what you can do at this point is you can search in Logos Bible software, all of your digital books, all of your resources with simple queries that are similar to the sorts of things you would type into Google. So my wife was preparing a lesson on contentment. Let's type in what is contentment. I hit enter and I'm off to the races. It's going through all of my library and searching for all of the hits on contentment. Now, I especially want you to look at this top section. It's called the synopsis section. And what this section does is it goes through many of the resources that were hit down below and it tries to summarize everything that it found there. So here we can see collated from four different books in my library, a synopsis about contentment. Contentment is described as a state of satisfaction with one's circumstances or situation in life. It is characterized by an inner peace and freedom from anxiety over one's conditions. It goes on, but you can see this would be a great summary statement gathered from all of these resources that you could kick off your study with. Now, what would be your natural follow-up? Well, you might be looking up Bible verses in order to try and demonstrate the teaching of contentment from Scripture. So, of course, one of the most natural things to type into the smart search is what are some Bible verses that talk about contentment? Here we can see in the synopsis that it primarily goes to one resource that I have, Got Questions Ministries. And look, it lists some of the most important Bible verses on the topic of contentment. Philippians 4, 11 to 13, Hebrews 13, 5, 1 Timothy 6, 6 to 8, and Luke 12, 15. Not only that, it also gives us 1 Thessalonians 5, 18. After giving your definition of contentment that was collated from four resources, now from one singular resource here, you have a bunch of Bible verses that you can go to. You can walk through these in your study, and you can talk about the verses as a group. Now, suppose you want to go a little bit deeper than this, and you don't just want to go to the Bible verses themselves, but you want to dive into the original languages. Well, let's just type in a natural query into the smart search. What is the Greek word for contentment? Here, the first hit is actually a commentary that I own, one that I would never think to reference for the topic of contentment. But right here, you can see the commentator has explicitly given us the Greek word for contentment and given us a little bit of background about it. Well, we're already cruising on our study, but we're not satisfied with just the New Testament. We also want to know the Old Testament as well. What is the Hebrew word for contentment? Here you can see our synopsis again again, summarizes four separate books that I have. It talks about one of the singular words that is used. But not only that, if you scroll down for the second hit, you can see that this resource in particular wasn't referenced here, but it has some other words that are used for contentment as well. So you can already see with just a handful of minutes of study, we have already got some of the deepest material that you could want in a Bible study on contentment. We have referenced over 10 books. We've got tons of great sources from tons of great scholars.
But let's not stop there. Let's make this study practical. Rather than only going to Hebrew, Greek words, and those sorts of things, let's now ask ourselves, what are some ways I can fight discontentment in my life? And here we go. Let's open the synopsis. It actually summarizes five separate resources I have. Some are journal articles. Some are in-depth commentaries. Others are biblical counseling keys, good monographs from the likes of Jerry Bridges, etc. All of these summarized and collated together for me to get a good understanding. And look, the advice is great. Pray. That can help you with discontentment. Examine your desires and assumptions. Discontentment often stems from misplaced expectations. Engage in productive work. Embrace God's purpose for your life. All of these are great points of application that you can try to drive home for your people at the end of your study. So what does this all mean? Well, leveraging the power of Logos Bible software is more accessible than ever before. In this short video, we were able to leverage more than 15 books in my library in less than 10 minutes. We were able to put together a great study from scholars that are frankly inaccessible to most lay Christians. Two, the power and value of the Logos Premium subscription cannot be overstated, especially for more casual users. The Smart Search and the Smart Search Synopsis are simply that good. Three, and this is going to be a hard pill for many to swallow, but for people that want to take the greatest advantage of studying in this way, they are going to be benefited by a very large library size. These users are going to get the greatest value out of taking the lowest subscription of premium so they get access to these two features and then spending their excess money in the libraries. If they can get a large library, they're going to get the best results possible from the smart search and the synopsis. So that's it, guys. I think these are exciting times for Logos Bible software. This amazing tool for studying God's word, doctrine, and theology has frankly been inaccessible to many lay Christians simply because they can't get over the steep learning curve. That problem is now gone. You can get into Logos Bible software and leverage it utilizing smart search and synopsis very easily. It's the only tool you need if you want to study simply at that level. I think this is a game changer for new adopters. I think for those who have been building a library for years and years and years, this takes great advantage of the huge library you've built. And frankly, this proves something that I've been saying for many, many years, that if you want to utilize Logos as a digital library, Kindle on steroids and take advantage of the search capabilities, now you just got the greatest tool ever to help you do that. If you like this video, please consider utilizing my affiliate subscription down in the description below. It gets me a small commission. As always, I appreciate all of your support here at Pastor Tanner Biblical Studies. We'll see you again real soon. Take care. God bless.